Johanne has never been afraid to do anything. The fact that she will walk out with like a helmet or you'll like, you know, just go on stage and fall to your knees randomly. <laughs> Joanne will do the most random stuff that she does not plan and it will come out of nowhere. I didn't want to be like a 50% Joanne. I wanted to be like a 100% Joanne, like in her like purest form and like her most fabulous and her most everything, you know. Um, and I, w I wouldn't be content doing drag if it wasn't exactly how I want it. What I think is so fun is it makes people think about like, who am I and, and what can I do? And what are different ways I can express myself? A lot of people think that when you put on a lot of makeup like this, it's more of a mask, but I feel like it's actually revealing who I am inside. Like kind of Joanne's been inside me this whole time. And like, it's more of bringing out, like bringing stuff out from within, like my ultimate form, <laughs> I guess. I mean, it's, it's artistic performance. It is messing with gender, right? I mean, that's what's so, that, that's part of the genius of drag is it challenges what we think we know about gender. To me, like the least important part of drag is being a woman. Like literally, like that does not matter at all. Like, and even like when I get in drag, I'm not like, I mean, I say I'm a woman, but, <laughs> but like, it's not about like, acting like a woman, you know, or like being a woman. It's more about like your personality and like your performance to me. Like I don't, I feel like, a, I guess like a genderless being. And if that makes sense, you know, like I don't think about it as being one way or another. There are times where you're like, am I, you know, am I not cis? Am I like, you know, am I non-binary? Am I trans or whatever? And then it's like, you get to this point where you're like, you figure yourself out doing this in a lot of ways, but there's a lot of growing that is required. I love that part. <laughs> For men, cis men, to want to explore femininity, I mean, that's a big no-no because of the misogynistic and homophobic culture we live in. So, you know, I think that creates a barrier. But, you know, most folks who do drag, that I'm aware of, right, are queer identified. So you're already in a community where you're already, like, an outlaw of some kind. You know what I mean? You're already, like having to think about everything that you've learned or been programmed to believe in like a heterosexist society. But I don't know, I just say like do what you love and like I think like a real man, like whatever that means is like doing whatever the hell you want and that and also like that's what being a woman means too, you know what I mean? It's just like being confident. When the drag search competition came about I was like well I'm gonna have to go to Houston and like get this costume made and all this stuff and like I can't really hide all that and like I'm gonna be like leaving the house and drive to go perform. So I was like, I just gotta tell you that this is happening. So I told my mom and like my grandma and But when I stepped back and saw the whole thing, I'm like, well really, what's the big deal? You know, it's just as a parent and you when you see your child doing something they love, that's what you want. You just want your kid to be happy. You know, you just love to see them have those uh, couldn't get happier moments, you know. I mean, whether he won or lost, I think just doing it <clears throat> and doing the whole thing and, you know, having us there, I think that would have been good enough. I always had this joke, I'm like, okay, I have to put on my teacher drag and go to school now, or like, you know, we have to put on like our professional drag and do that. I mean, we're all performing in different ways all the time, right? Whether that's around our gender or like whatever it is. Um, and so drag queens and, and drag performance and drag kings just kind of take that to another level. The best thing is like the reward. Cause like those, even though it's, you know, just four or five minutes, if you feel good about what you did, it's like the best thing in the world. <laughs> There was always like this person to me that wanted to like get up and like dance and like that's who Joanne is, you know, and I think that's why it called me because it is like your truest form, like the most fun you could ever have.